Hi everyone, so today I am filming a get ready with me video for a dinner party that I went to earlier this week. And I kicked things off with my skincare routine, which has been switched up a little bit recently. I started off by using my Sunday Riley Blue Moon Cleanser, and then I applied my eye cream, and I've recently gone back to a Kiehl's one, and that is their creamy eye treatment with avocado. And then I applied the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream, which is a new moisturizer that I've been using recently and really enjoying using. So once my skincare was done, I just got all my makeup out. I also have a new brush roll, which is amazing. It's from Mags London, and I love it. And then I got started with my makeup, and I kicked things off with the YSL Top Secrets Instant Moisture Glow. I really like this for kind of hydrating and priming the skin at the same time. And then I wanted quite a full coverage flawless base, so I used my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. I just blended that in using a Sephora Pro Airbrush Foundation brush. For concealer, I used my Charlotte Tilbury Mini Miracle Eye Wand, which I love as well. This and the foundation just pair so perfectly together. And after concealer, I went straight onto my eye makeup. I decided to crack out my Tom Ford Eye Quad, and this is in the shade Cognac Sable. So I started off with the lightest shade in the top left hand corner. Then I applied some of the chocolate brown colour in the bottom left to my crease and then added the kind of shimmery beautiful amber brown colour to the kind of outer corner. But next I moved on to liner and I'm using a slightly different liner today. It's the Tom Ford liner pen which I'm only a fan of half of this liner pen but it's the smaller nibbed side which I absolutely love. And then I moved on to mascara and I'm actually using a new mascara today which I have been loving. And that is the Max Factor False Lash Effect Velvet Volume Mascara. This one has a new mousse formula which leaves the lashes looking full and voluminous but still flexible and soft as velvet. So they don't look clumpy or feel crispy when you touch them, they feel really soft but they still give the same volume and length as a lot of my other mascaras. So I applied that to both my top and bottom lashes and then I moved on to blush and I've been using the Benefit Dandelion Blush all the time recently. And I followed blush up with the Lorac Pro Contour Palette, which you guys know I love and I use basically every single day, but it is just the best and gives me cheekbones like I have never had before. I just absolutely love it. Now that I've contoured, I'm moving on to highlighter. This is the Becca Highlighter in the shade Opal. Yeah, I mean, look at that highlight. I just absolutely love it. And then to kind of finish things off, I used a new lipstick from Tom Ford, which is from their Noir collection, and it is their lipstick in first time. And as you can see, I'm now going back in and adding a little bit of extra something to my eyeshadow. I decided to do a slight cut crease, but I basically just blend a darker colour through my crease and then use a kind of thin liner brush to wing it out just above my eyeliner and then I take a concealer brush that is kind of very thin and flat and then touch up around the eyeshadow. It's definitely not perfect but I've been really enjoying doing that for a night out. And then I'm moving on to my hair. So I'm just using my Lulu Guinness Tangle Teaser to comb through it. I love this Tangle Teaser, it basically comes everywhere with me. Then I'm using my GHDs and these are the Wonderland V Stylers I think they're called and I'm just using them to kind of comb over the frizz at the top of my head and then give some movement and a slight curl to the bottom. The curl will drop out, but I just like my hair to have that little bit of movement to it. Once the bottom of my hair is kind of dealt with, I go back and back comb the top, and I just separate various different lengths of my hair and just give it a quick back brush. And once that's done, I use my Bumble and Bumble Styling Spray. This is the Does It All one, I think it's called. And I use this to give some hold to the waves at the bottom, but also to my side part. Once my hair was done, I got dressed and I put on my H&M Balmain dress, which I am absolutely in love with. Then I'm throwing on my Miles Topshop boots, which never ever leave my feet. They are so ridiculously comfortable. They're getting a bit battered, but I love them. And then I'm popping on my Aurelia Star ear crawlers, which I I love and wear pretty much every day. To finish things off, I'm wearing my YSL Black Opium Eau de Toilette perfume, which smells incredible. It is literally good enough to eat. Some days I consider eating it, but I don't. That would be wrong. I'm also wearing a clutch from Zara that has a little leaf detail on the front. So once I was all ready, I headed out and went for dinner. This was an event that was with Blog Lovin and Topshop, which was really, really fun. So that is the finished look. I am really in love with this look. I am totally obsessed with the Max Factor Full Slash Effect Velvet Volume Mascara. I really hope you guys like this video and you are all having a lovely day and I will see you guys again very soon. Bye!